It's an honor and a privilege for us, uh, for my little family and I, to be here to represent Karolandi. And we love working at Karolandi. Um, and I was going to show you, tell you a few things. Why, why choose Karolandi? I wanted to narrow it down to a few things. So I think I've narrowed it, narrowed it down to five reasons. Um, why we love Karolandi. Reason number one is a God-centered school. God is at the center of everything and we often hear the Aboriginal families around saying Karolandi is, is God's place and it is God's place. It always will be and God is always first in everything we do whenever we start the day, we start worship, with prayer, we start, the kids start their classes with a prayer, and that was one of the things that um, the parents have, you know, that the parents loved about Karolandi because in their other schools, in, for example, Derby, they've cut the God out of their schools. So that's why Karolandi is important. And number two, quality Christian education. Karolandi College operates utilizing the successful Adam schools Australia philosophy of education based on a biblical worldview which says that an eternal loving God through Christ created this world. Our program outlines our outcomes include significant achievements in literacy, numeracy, integrated into this is an array of other practical and culturally enriching activities and themes drawn from the surrounding communities. Number three, holistic education. So we don't just look at, uh, we look at the person, the whole person. The purpose of Karolani College is to provide the right tools and environment where students can be equipped with an educational standard that prepares them to progress to a career. We seek to foster a balanced development of the whole person spiritually, intellectually, physically, and socially to develop a life of faith in God. Number four, cultural diversity. So we have students from all over WA, from Kananara down to, I think the furthest is Perth, Ezekiel. Ezekiel is here, he's one of our students. Um, we have students from different backgrounds. We have staff as well, and who are from different cultures. So the students get to learn about other cultures and we celebrate that every term, at the end of our term, we have full, we have a, full, a cultural night. Um, I don't know if you might have seen our Facebook page. Um, we have a night of just celebrating each other's cultures, learning more about each other. And our students are very proud of their Aboriginal culture. And number, I think that's number six, your child matters to us. Each child matters. Our program covers a range of disciplines that best suit each student's needs. So we cater to each of their needs, um, whichever literacy level they are, and we care about their future and we ensure the development of each individual's potential. We try to look at each child the way that God sees them. And we firmly believe in Jeremiah 29, 11, that God, each child, God has a plan for each and every one of us, each and every kind of these students. So we try and get that out, and that's, that's our goal, to um, for each child to realize their potential and their, their plan, their God-given plan. So we also have a dedicated team. Our staff has been appointed by God to serve at Karolani. And if you hear the stories of how each of our staff members got to Karolani, they're amazing stories. We have staff from the other side of Australia, from over east, Sydney, even from New Zealand. Our principal is from New Zealand, and he's from um, other cultures as well. And all our staff has left family, even us who left family, our old lives to come and serve our family. We have a caring and dedicated team who support, encourage, and guide our students in a way that they can achieve and surpass their goals and contribute to the life of the school. And our mission statement is to make Caroline College a place which promotes the balanced development of every student, building a community of faith and instilling in each student values and skills resulting in resilience, good citizenship, personal achievement, and a practical concern for others. And some of the testimonies, I wish I had um, done a video of this, but I've just written down what some of our um, some of our parents have given us feedback. Um, 
they've just texted it to us. And he said, this is, this is a man from Derby. He said, a lot of our kids in our community don't want to go to school there because um, they've actually taken God out of their school. They, and he was trying, if, if you read this bit, um, he was trying to get on to our study. And over there, they're, the app study people, they're sort of blocking them out. You know, um, just asking them why do they have to go so far to get education when they've got their own school in the community, and this is the reason why. Um, and he he kept so he was getting blocked, he was getting rejected, but he kept praying, he kept praying for his son Zach to go to Karalandi, and he said that he was so excited and felt blessed by God that he didn't get left aside. God our Father will never leave us, and I thank my father that my son can go to Karalandi. So yeah, he was very thankful, and his son, a lot of these kids from from other communities, or even Durban, a lot of them have only, the average is about 30 to 40% attendance, and sometimes zero, zero attendance, and it's a bit sad, but when they come to Karalandi, they, it takes a while for them to get used to the routine and everything, but once they get used to it, they get you, they, first they learn about God, and that's where it starts. The respect, the responsibility, and all of that, that starts from learning about God, and then the, you see the transformation. Once they, once they accept God into their lives, you see the, 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 Holy Spirit working in them. And that's what we just, yeah, that's the best thing about our job at Karalandi. And another one from another parent, I thank God for reopening Karalandi because I want my child to learn more about God and to go to heaven. Um, and those are some of the um, comments from other students as well. And you know how I said their attendance is terrible. Well, in their communities, they just, run away from school. And in Karalandi, obviously, we have the duty of care, and we can't just let them do that. They're in our care 24 seven. So we go after them, no matter how far they go. Sometimes they follow the rapid proof fence to go back home, but we go chasing after them. And one of them said to us, Miss, why do you have to go? Why do you have to come after us? And our, our old, old school, they don't, they don't care. They don't care where we go, and he said, no, we care about you. We, you're in our care. God has entrusted you to us, so we go after you every time. And so that's, that's another thing that they love about Karalandi. Um, yeah, so those are just a few things. And I do have a little prayer. This, uh, this is just a little video. Uh, just a little snippet of life at Karalandi. 